One of the passengers on the bus the day of the crash was a woman who was seven months pregnant. Luckily, she and her babies lived through the incident. News 13's Jeannie Nguyen is here with the family's miraculous story. Jeannie. Madeline, that woman is Christy Westerdale, and she ended up having to deliver her twins early. She says she's just thankful she and her family are alive. It was an extra pain on top of giving birth, you know. It, it was real hard on Christy. Joe Chandler is the longtime boyfriend and father to Christy Westerdale's newborn twins. The couple was headed back to California on the Greyhound bus with her four-year-old daughter after their car broke down in Oklahoma City. But a day into their trip, tragedy struck when a semi-truck crashed into their bus on I-40 in between Grants and Gallup. Through the chaos, Chandler says other bus passengers became first responders. Just the teamwork and the heroes that came out of the bus, you know, at that their faces were all bloody and just messed up, you know, but they've seen that other people were affected more, so they, they helped. And there was so much help going on, you know. Westerdale was taken to a hospital in Gallup where she delivered her twins prematurely. Then all three were taken to UNMH. She gave birth to a boy and girl two months before their due date, each of them weighing in at three pounds. I feel great being reunited with my baby. It's amazing knowing they're doing so well for what they've been through. Westerdale and her newborns will have to stay here in Albuquerque for at least another month. It'll be a tough road ahead, but Chandler is thankful his family is alive. They're awesome. They're beautiful babies. They're doing so good. Uh, everyone's complimenting on how they're do they're so they're just perfect babies for being 29 weeks. Uh, it's awesome. Chandler himself had severe internal bruising while Westerdale suffered a broken leg and elbow and her four-year-old daughter also suffered minor injuries. Madeline, back to you. All right, thank you, Jeannie. The family has created a GoFundMe page to help with the medical expenses and the cost of living here in Albuquerque unexpectedly. We have a link to that on our website. Just head to krqe.com.